One of our top stories this year surrounded a murder case that is now 40 years old. Grand Old Opry legend Stringbean Aikman and his wife were murdered in their home back in 1973. But this year, their killer, John Brown, became a free man. We were there for several of his parole hearings, and we were the only crew there when he got the votes needed to walk home free. News Channel 5, Shannon Royster takes a look back at a case that spans the decades. On November 10th, 1973, Grand Old Opry star String Bean Aikman and his wife Estelle would return home from a performance. For the last time. I shot Mr. Aikman, and then when Miss Aikman come in um, through the door, uh, I shot her as well. John Brown and his cousin Marvin, both 23 years old at the time, broke a window, disconnected the phone, and ransacked the Aikman small cabin in Ridgetop. I committed one of the most atrocious crimes ever could be committed. They had heard String Bean kept money at home. So when they couldn't find it, the duo turned on this radio and listened to the Opry for hours, waiting for the couple to arrive. And when they did, the Brown shot String Bean and then Estelle as she begged for her life. The two were quickly arrested, ordered to serve double life sentences. I, I don't have any right to ask for forgiveness. But that's exactly what Brown did at least a half a dozen times before the parole board. And every time, he was denied. At one of those hearings, Opry member Jan Howard told the board he killed her friends and didn't deserve mercy. And I want him to serve every second of those 198 years. I don't want him to ever breathe another breath of free air again as long as he lives. But on October 15, 2014, for the first time in decades, it looked like that might happen. Brown tried to convince the parole board once again. Now, I'm not the same person I was 41 years ago. That he's sorry and he's a changed man with no prison write-ups. All right, sir, I want to commend you on that. That's almost unheard <laughs> of. This time, he got the four votes out of seven needed for parole. I think it's the biggest miscarriage of justice outside of the murders of String and Estelle. Uh, I mean, that was premeditated murder. I'm not sure this isn't. Brown, now 64, won't have to make the transition alone. He'll go home to his wife, who waited for him all these years, and a full-time custodial job at Cornerstone Church. I think every church should open its door to every person to try to help them to move from wherever they are to where God wants them to be. Shannon Royster, News Channel 5 HD. John Brown's cousin Marvin died in prison of natural causes in 2003. John was released from the Lois DeBerry Special Needs Facility on November 3rd of this year.